Samsung Galaxy S7 model. Samsung had something to prove with last year's Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge as it wanted to show the world that it could make high-end smartphones with great designs and premium materials just like Apple and HTC have done for years. And it succeeded when it released the S6 models. The new S7 models borrowed liberally from the S6 designs and feature sets but they bring numerous refinements and improvements and restore features that went missing from the Galaxy X6 line. The X7 is more comfortable to hold, easier to pick off a table and has a flatter fingerprint scanner, a less pronounced camera hum and retains the 5.1 inch Quad HD Super AMOLED display from its predecessor. The S7 Edge on the other hand has received a more thorough update as it's been given a larger 5.5 inch display with the back of the device giving a slight curve making it much more comfortable to hold. It's also remarkably smaller that most people could use with one hand and it slips into a pocket with ease despite having a spacious display. Both phones have supports for micro SD cards to augment their 32 gig of internal storage as well as IP68 water and dust resistance which means you can dip your phone into 1.5 meters of water for 30 minutes at a time. The S7 line does not have removable batteries but its battery life was increased up to 3000 mAh in the S7 and 3600 mAh for the S7 Edge. The S7 new 12 megapixel camera can focus up to three times faster similar to the system Canon uses in some of its DSLR cameras. The S7 and S7 Edge will be available on four major carriers in the US starting March 11th with pre-orders beginning on February 23rd.